Hello everyone. This reading is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, today, before I get started, I just want to talk about some of the things that I was picking up on or the energy that I was picking up on right before um, when I was meditating. Uh, there's somebody that's losing a lot of sleep over a situation, whether it's love or financial, but there's some kind of, uh, they're feeling burdened over some kind of loss with possibly a water sign, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's definitely picking up water energy. Um, there's just something that this uh, Aquarius is feeling, her energy is feeling like they're losing sleep over at night. Uh, there's something that's burdened them to the point where uh, they're not sleeping well. Anyway, so I picked up that energy. I don't know if this is going to resonate with anything, but we'll go ahead and get started in the reading. Um, spirit, angel guides, ancestors, God, please provide Aquarius with any messages you wish for them to receive right now. Amen. Okay, with the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck, uh, I was also picking up on an energy before I even had this at the bottom of the deck. Like there's something that you know, Aquarius, about maybe a situation or a person, um, but there's there's something that you already have like an intuitive little nudge or you've had a little intuitive nudge about. Um, and so there, for the overall energy of this reading, um, I pulled the Three of Cups and the Five of Swords. So this is your community card um, and this is conflict um, so I feel like there's something that's left you feeling defeated in the community and whether it's with a group of friends maybe I feel like there's been some sort of conflict and that someone puts you in. This is your energy, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords. Um, third party energy, Knight of Wands. It's kind of, uh, <laughs> dang Aquarius. It's like that one night stand energy. So maybe there's conflicts in the community uh, involving some of your behavior. Um, your person's energy is a water sign. Um, possibly cancer. We have the Ace of Cups in the Chariot. Uh, the Ace of Cups 
and this is somebody moving away from uh, your energy, okay? Um, hmm, or the chariot, like, or coming in quick. So it could be somebody going away or moving in. I think this is somebody coming in quick. This is a water sign. Um, so maybe there's a third party situation that you've been involved with Aquarius that um, has kind of left people kind of in the community, friends, friends with maybe the person that you were with and you kind of like what the fuck people are talking about it basically. <laughs> but there's something that you know. Let's see. Let me elaborate. You had a vision. Was that something else that I was also picking up? That you've had a vision about this person. Judgment. There was some type of vision that you had, whether you've had dreams, maybe. Experiencing deja vu is what I just heard. Uh, but like, uh, possibly this could be like a soul, serious soul tie. Um, third party situation that, that you're moving towards this other person, but because there's a soul tie between you, we have the Ace of Wands, you feel inspired by this person. Like you're drawn to them, they're magnetic. Um, two of Wands. Swords, Ten of Wands. Hmm. You feel responsible for some kind of loss that this person has experienced too. The magician card. Justice. And King of Swords. Somebody possibly could have uh, done things possibly magic or any any anything to kind of mess with this person's this could have been like family members of the person that you are with or close friends kind of could have helped them possibly sabotage things for this person if they thought that um I think they thought that they were trying to keep you from realizing that this is this is the connection that you wanted to be in or that you needed to be in or something like that. This person knew they were trying to keep you away from this connection. Okay. And then, and this is the justice card and the king of swords. Like you're cutting, cutting to the, you're cutting the bullshit out now, basically like, and not putting up with all the bullshit that's gone on. Okay. We have the best potential outcome, the three of wands, and then the knave of pentacles. The Three of Wands, I feel like, is just um, you having foresight in the situation um, to manifest new beginnings. Um, could possibly be with an Earth sign. The Ace of Pentacles. Manifesting prosperity money, okay? So, focusing on your money. Aquarius, and we have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Um, focusing on your money, and then the Hermit. Um, maybe you're in competition with a Virgo. In regards to this person, Knight of Swords. So you need to make hasty movement, okay? Because there is competition. 
Um, and then the Knave of Cups. You're seeing like, I feel like you feel like you have to make fast forward movement, like come in fast because of competition and because of the synchronicities. You're noticing synchronicities um, between you and this person. I feel like that you're um, wanting union with, okay? Best potential advice for, um, yeah, you're gonna have to move quick because of competition competition to uh, beat out the competition, basically, Aquarius. Like, there's somebody else that is watching um, this person, too. Now, I don't know if they're already involved with them or if this is somebody from their past, um, but it's somebody that also cares a great deal about this person as well. It's kind of like, you know, this... This isn't somebody, I think it's one of those things where you make the decision. Like, it's somebody that uh, you, you need to make a decision now or they're not going to be around, basically. Kind of, like, they're going to be off the market, so to speak. Like, you know, you're going to regret not making a decision when you had the chance to, okay? Um, for the advice, best advice I have for you... Aquarius, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Temperance, Four of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. So this is definitely fast movement um, away from um, possibly a fire sign. Um, like I said before, it could be an earth sign you're going towards or um, just somebody that is um, extremely down to earth. But like there's something about this. Um, you're moving away from jealousy, possessiveness, crazy. Okay. Move away from all that is the best advice. We have the four of pentacles in the situation um, for stability. star card which is Aquarius okay um, ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck so really focus put your energy on um, manifesting money um, career uh, things that can help you um, maybe move forward um, let's see let me pull let's see if anything else kind of any messages come out with this deck real quick. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please help me provide or provide um grace and more messages that might resonate for advice. Worry about your money. But instability. Knight of Wands. So that one night stand energy again, and then the um, Eight of Cups. The Chariot. So be careful about um, possibly um, Cancer coming in, offering you. Um, A bullshit it's gonna be like one night stand kind of energy but there's it's offering you something to, to, to keep you away from justice card nine of wands five of wands what's made you feel burdened okay and then the four of wands so having your happy home, okay? Two of cups at the bottom. 
we'll go ahead and use the yin and yang oracle deck so to shuffle it spirit guides help me with any messages any more messages for Aquarius angels god please amen that just speaks of basically you know be careful feel like there's another energy female energy possibly cancer female male um that is going to try to seduce you um, it also has maybe not been involved in this connection but wants to keep you from this other connection you're well. too obsessed with possibly a water sign discovering this okay. there's more you're going to discover that there's more to the situation than you even realized before maybe thoughts isolating you thinking about this all a lot right now like you're like I said you're up at night okay you're healing your inner child messages travel communication um, you could be traveling to the water or hearing from um, a water sign messaging the water sign communicating you're confused about what you should do right now There's so many hold on there's too many Yeah, soul tie, reunion. So this is somebody that you've met before that you have a soul tie connection with and that's what's caused you to be confused and you're trying to have the courage to change, leave. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. ancestor guides are giving you messages so pay attention so if you've been having synchronicities um, and different things uh, happening that are making you think about this person and maybe what y'all do have a soul tie or connection um, this is them kind of confirming those messages that they've been trying to give you okay You have a purpose. This is this person is connected to your life purpose. Shadow side, the dark night. So you're going through maybe the dark night of the soul right now. Um, and you want to renew the spark. This person, you have your doubts. Because there was conflict. But the memories you have, you can't let go of. You're feeling about this feminine. You can't stop thinking like that. I mean, you've been up at night thinking about this person. You want to nurture this person and show them love and compassion because they didn't control you. guilt for sabotaging this is action and new beginnings at the bottom of the deck okay so I'm going to stop that part of the reading right there um, I'm going to use the Kipper deck to see if there are any other messages for Aquarius
journey. Like I said, you might be traveling to see this person. Unexpected income. And change. So houses at the bottom. So moving. Okay, let's see. It can be a job offer, um, something that you don't expect at the last minute. It can come in also um, and help you make these changes. Virgo, so with that unexpected income card popping up, um, the number is also 27, so that could have some significance, but be kind of a stroke of good luck with the situation once you start uh, kind of moving in the right direction, getting that positive energy going. Um, we have the number 21. And this um, represents change for the better, the stork. And then the ring. Um, number 23 so this could be indication of marriage okay. a new beginning in marriage engagement moving towards an engagement and then um, number 13 the snake So, this is realizing that you've been with a snake, basically. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, Aquarius. Um, I hope that these messages were helpful for you. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if any of these messages resonated. Um, love and light.